Hi, my name's Sean. I'm an ASC Master Tech Advanced Level 2. Uh, I work on various cars. I'm from Germany. I used to work at Mercedes hand building the AMG plants. And I want to talk today about a common failure in the 3.5 Dodge Chargers. Um, they have a notorious issue with the ticking in the upper ends and one of two things happens. The hydraulic lifter tends to fail. Well, I mean other things could happen. But the most common issues is the hydraulic lifters seem to fail or what will happen is the uh, oiler will actually shear the dowel pens and rotate and cut off the oil and all kinds of crap happens. Now to disassemble these, these are really pretty easy. I don't have one out of the car now because I didn't think about it. But anyway, um, to take them apart, um, the one rocker arm assembly, once you take the whole thing out, you can slide one of the shafts completely out on the intake side and all of them will come out real easy. They just drop right out and they're held into place by the bolts. On the other side, you have to remove the dowel pens. Um, that's what holds the other shaft in place, and that's one of the other failures is it'll shear them off and rotate. And, and you can, if there's no excessive damage, you can just go in and replace the dowel pens. But for my particular issue with my charger, I had a failure in the rocker arm lifter assembly. I had the tick, pulled the whole thing out, um, set everything up. And what I want to show you the test for is if uh, your stuff looks pretty clean, but you're still getting a tick, is to come take a look at these lifters and focus on the lifters, not on me. Um, what you should do is just take your hands here and just give them a gentle squeeze. If they drop like that one, that one's really bad. That one's clearly failed. This one over here, not as bad, but it still moves. You should not be able to do that with your hands unless you spend way too much time touching yourself and you have ridiculous strength. So for the most part, you shouldn't be able to do that. So um, these were pretty easy to get a hold of. Um, um, you know, I'm, I, I refuse to spend $500 for the whole assembly. Uh, I may regret this later. I may have more than one fail. Um, but I'm being stingy right now. So I got both of these for 90 bucks out the door at dealer cost. Non-dealer cost was going to be like 150 I do feel that uh, Dodge Chrysler is charging way too much for those. Um, the whole rocker arm assembly is about... I think my dealer wanted about 400 bucks and non-dealer cost was like 585 I'm up here. Um, thank you, Hans. So I have my assistant, Hans, he's helping me here. So anyway, they're really simple failures to check for. And I said, these come off pretty simple. So just go in, give them a little quick squeeze. If uh, one of them, even one of them bends down, it needs to be replaced. You shouldn't be able to do that for the normal human with hand strength. Um, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions or you're having problems with your 3.5, shoot me a comment below um, and I will help you out.